Hello everyone and welcome to Safe Partum's YouTube channel. I'm Dr. M, I'm an obstetric anesthesiologist, and I'm here to answer all of your questions related to pregnancy and labor and delivery. Hey everyone, so as promised, I'm going to show you a comparison of uh, some of the most common epidural kits that are available in the U.S. I would say most of us probably use either the Vibron or the Aero. The Pageant, I think, has become more popular now that there's some uh, supply issues with the more commonly used epidural kits. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what's inside each of these and what I care about as a anesthesiologist. The things that I care about are the epidural needle. So Usually the two we will be either a 17 gauge or an 18 gauge. I'm used to using the 17 one. I think it doesn't matter, honestly, which one you're using, as long as you're comfortable with it and know what to expect. Sometimes people will report a higher uh, chance of wet tap when they start using a needle size that's different from the one that they're accustomed to. So just be mindful of that. So I care about the two we size. Um, and then I also care about what the catheter is like, what the catheter clamp connector is like, if it's easy to use, and then whether or not the epidural syringe, the 5cc syringe, is glass or plastic, what it feels like, um, and then whether or not it's slip tip or lure lock. But, and apart from that, everything else you can just substitute. Okay, so let's compare the Chewy and the glass syringes from all three kits. So it's Vibron, Arrow, and Pageant. Uh, so all of three of them have a 17 gauge 2 so you can see they're all the same length. This one looks longer, but um, actually that's just because of this like apparatus here, but actually it's also only 9 centimeters. So the Vibron has plastic introducer, the Aero one does that as well. This one feels a little tighter, um, this one slides out really easily. The Pageant has a metal introducer, I'm not sure what advantage that confers, but if you know, let me know. I don't really use the wings, but if that's something that you like, then I guess these are the easiest probably to grip. I don't really know the purpose of this whole apparatus. It just locks um, everything in place. You can't move it, but I'm not sure what that's for actually. If somebody knows, leave what you know in the comments. And honestly, I just don't think that there's that much difference between Vibron and Arrow. I don't like this. I think it's a little too fancy uh, for what I need and be more confusing than helpful. So I probably, if I had a choice, I wouldn't use that one. Let's try out the syringes. So they all three have glass syringes. This is Vibron. It feels like really, really smooth, even without any saline lubrication. This is the Aero one. It's also glass. This feels a little tighter, a little grittier. I can see how you might get a wet tap with this because I'm pushing here and it's getting kind of stuck. You probably need to lube it up pretty well to have a smooth, um, surface. Oh, this one feels pretty good. So I like this as well. The one thing I don't like about this uh, syringe is that it's a lure lock. You know, it does make it more stable when you lock it into the TUI, uh, but you have to take it, you know, a turn and a half. And I feel that whenever you're in the epidural space, the more movement you have back here, the higher the risk of a wet tap. And so for me, I, I think the slip tip is a little bit less risky. So I don't prefer that one. The arrow, again, you know, it's a it's a slip tip, so pretty easy to remove. And then same thing with the with the Vibron. It's a slip tip, so pretty snug and easy to remove. So my preference would be one of these two, I think, because the glass is smoother. I would go with the Vibron if I had a choice, um, but the arrow is fine too. You know, I think this one works well. Like, obviously, if we have a kit shortage. I'm not going to complain about having... Um, you know, slight differences. Okay, so let's talk catheters now. So the Vibron comes in this plastic coil, protects it, I kind of like that. The other two came in these little um, plastic bags, which is also fine. I think it's probably a lot less wasteful, so um, that's, you know, doesn't really matter to me. I already opened them. Each of them has a little stabilizer on them. The Vibron one has it attached here. If you've never used this before, you have to take this little piece off and then this, this little plastic piece serves as the introducer. Honestly, it probably doesn't matter. They all serve the same uh, purpose, which is to stabilize the cath catheter as it enters. 
the Vibron feels normal, regular. It's soft and mobile, but has that rigidity that we like. Um, the Arrow feels like maybe a little bit more flexible than the Vibron. And then this Page Inc. one is just super plasticky and not very flexible at all. So I don't like that one. I actually kind of like that Arrow one the best, um, but not much difference between Vibron and Arrow. Whenever you're introducing it uh, through your epidural needle, you probably want to use a stabilizer. You can do it without, but um, this is the Vibron. They all get a little bit stuck as they're exiting the epidural needle. But yeah, no issues, feels pretty good. Normal, regular. The arrow, same thing, you'll stabilize it pretty smooth until it starts to exit. Yeah, feels normal. On the pay junk, same thing. Just feels really, really plasticky. We have to remove this. Oh, that's why. Probably have to remove that. Again, I don't know what that apparatus is for, to be honest, but feels fine. Again, it just feels like very rigid. It's it's a little tighter coming out than the other ones felt. Um, but as you can see, it just holds its form so strongly that I don't know if I like that. But yeah, so those are the three catheters. And then once they're in, we obviously have to talk catheter connectors. So let's go over that next. These are the different connectors. Here's the Bibron, Arrow, Arrow, and Pajunk. So obviously they go on the end of the catheter. It's the Bibron one's pretty easy to uh, place. It's straight. That little pop tells you that it's closed. Super secure. It's not going to go anywhere. Easy to connect your pump tubing and actually very easy to undo if you need to pull this out. Um, and make some adjustments if you feel like your catheter is not working right. So that's really important is to be able to undo it as quickly as you place it, which is something that I didn't learn until later in my training. Um, this is the Aero One, a little bit clunky. I'm not a huge fan of this cap, to be honest. I think it's hard to close. Yeah, so it is hard to close actually. Um, it's super secure, never had an issue with it once it's actually closed, but the problem is that because it's so hard to close, it's like really, really hard to undo. So as you can see, I'm struggling with it. Maybe there's a better way, maybe somebody can teach me. So basically, if I were in a stat section, this would be very difficult to undo. Send help. Y'all, this is bad. Okay, well that's stuck, so obviously I don't like this one because I can't do it. This is the pageant one. This actually looks pretty simple. I like this little clamp that they have. It's similar to the Bibron. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, easy to close, easy to connect, super secure, and easy to unlock and take out. So that's a winner for sure. Okay, so the filters, I don't think it matters. Again, Padrank, Arrow, Bibron, filter, it doesn't really matter. These, I'm pretty sure, are the exact same. Yeah, they're the same one. Um, this is the Bibron one. It's a little fancier, but it, they all have the 0 0.2 micron um, filter size, and honestly, it makes no difference to me. Okay, so the final thing is the drape. I like this Vibron one. The fact that it's folded actually helps because I just stick it on the patient and then fan it out and it just sticks really nicely. It has adhesive all around. It's very sticky. Um, and so it really sticks well to the patient's back. And that's a really important feature when you're trying to maintain sterility. The Aero one, again, has the same stickiness. It's not folded. That's pretty much the only difference. And I really like it. I think this one works well too. It's not folded, but you just do this and make it folded, so no issue. It has the sticky piece on the top, which the Bibron also has, and um, in both cases, that's what I like to use. The pageant one, this one's not very good because it doesn't have any stickiness around the actual hole that's going to be the sterile site where you place the epidural, and so sometimes it can slide around a little bit, and I don't like that. So. This is a no-go for me. Either of these is fine. So in the end, I feel like the Vibron kit and the Aero kit 
are pretty similar. I think the Vibron's a little bit higher quality probably. And I will try to find out the cost because that usually means that it's more costly. And if it doesn't make much difference in terms of the care that you're providing, then it makes sense to keep costs a little bit lower. So I'll find out the cost and put them in the notes. And um, I hope you guys like this comparison video.